So Charleston White says Slim 400 deserve to die. He deserved to what he had coming to him. Now, if you don't know who Slim 400 is, that is or was a YG affiliate, right? Both rappers out of California. Now, on this one, man, once again, we got to agree. We got to agree with Charleston White. A lot of people don't like to live in reality. And the truth will always set you free. Slim, he got what he deserved. Right? He got what he deserved. You running around. You want to be called, I'm big blood. I'm a gang member. Right? I live an unrighteous life. What do you think you're going to get? As people, we got to stop looking confused when these rappers is getting their head blown off. We got to stop looking confused when these gang members are getting killed for being gang members. Slim 400 is not getting killed because he's a preacher. Slim 400 is not getting killed because he was an entrepreneur. Slim 400 is not getting killed because he was a regular citizen. Slim 400 is not getting killed because he was a construction worker. Slim 400 got killed because he wanted to get killed. Slim 400 got what he deserved. You want to be a blood? You want to be a gang member? Well, this is what comes with it. We got to stop acting like we don't know what comes with living unrighteous. So y'all mean to tell me people can be upset at Charleston White for saying he deserved to die? But what about all the people that Slim 400 killed or, or had a part of getting somebody killed or just being associated with blood? I mean, you cool with... I mean, you cool with letting the Crips die. Yeah. I mean, you don't care when bloodshed is shed. That means you don't care about nobody else's life but yours and your blood homies. So at the end of the day, when you playing the death game, you're going to get death prizes. Yeah. See, you playing the game of evil. You playing the game. You playing the game of death. What do you think is going to come out of, out of that game? You think you can play the death game and get life? Huh? We got to keep it reality, guys. And we can't and we cannot continue to get upset when someone is saying the right thing, baby. Bloods have killed hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of other black men. Right? Crips have done the same thing. All of these groups have done the same thing. They commit genocide on the black race. So at the end of the day, who gives a fuck about any of those people? That's the game they want to play. They want to underachieve. They want to be weak ass black men. They want to be gang members. Guess what? Guess what? When you get that head blown off, it is what it is. We got to stop focusing on these fools and start focusing on the real community and the real black people. That's out here working every day. Shout out to the, the black construction work. Shout out to everybody. But shout out to the, bl the black construction workers. Shout out to the black nurses. Shout out to the black school teachers. Yeah, shout out to them. And like I said, shout out to everybody. But we saying shout out to those people. Because a lot of times we glorify and we paying attention to too much bullshit. At the end of the day, we need more people speaking like me and Charleston White. Right. We need more people speaking like this, saying, man, fuck those gangs, fuck crip, fuck blood, fuck all this shit. If it's not productive, if it's not productive, fuck it. Don't deal with it. Y'all mean to tell me it's OK that we got millions of black rappers saying I'm going I'm to kill this black rapper. I'm going to kill that black rapper. I wish you would. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. All that's cool. All these a million black rappers can say, Nick, I'm going to kill a, another black man. I'm going to rape another black woman. I'm going to go shoot up a, 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 a black mama's house. I'm going to go shoot up a black grandma's house, a black grandpa. I'm going to go do this. But you mean to tell me a handful of people who saying, Fuck that bullshit. Fuck those gangs. We don't give a fuck about nothing y'all talking about. Y'all are a disgrace. Y'all weak. It's an issue with us. Now, here's how you know, as a people, we have lost our way. So, y'all drop y'all comment. Y'all let us know. 
who y'all agreeing with? Y'all y'all agreeing with them fools? Or y'all agreeing with us? At the end of the day, if you play deaf games, you get deaf prizes. Stop looking confused when these boys is getting their head blown off. What do you think they're gonna what do you think is gonna happen? They talk all day, every day about killing this person, killing that person. I'm a big blood. I'll shoot a crip in the face. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then when it happens to them, you want me to feel some type of remorse? You want me to be sad? Absolutely not. Those boys get exactly what they want coming to them at the end of the day. At the end of the day. That's what they want. That's what they get. The same way, the same way you get a person out here. And they chase their dreams and they chase their goals. And at the end of the day, they become successful. That's because they get exactly what they are asking for. They want to be successful. They want to live righteous. So they get that. I love y'all, but we got to keep it reality. Peace.